What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts, as we continue to explore the latest new musical flavor worldwide. We are back inside the building once again after a very exciting Christmas period. Um, Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you did have a very enjoyable day, whatever faith you are you are from or practice or whatever you kind of follow. Um, I hope you did have a very enjoyable day yesterday. Uh, we are back today um, to check out this one, though. It's been a very heavily requested track on the channel. The sounds of Majid uh, with Cry. This one featuring LoJ, who is undeniably one of my favorites right now. We did have the pleasure of interviewing Majid a few years ago before he properly exploded the way he has done. Um, so yeah, always excited to check out music from these two. As always, if you are new to the channel, do make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page. Of course, turning notifications on as well, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. I am ever so slightly under the weather, so apologies if uh, my vocal isn't as clean as normal, or if I have to cough halfway through with my apologies in advance i'm hoping i won't have to but i just want to uh, apologize in advance either way uh right let's check this one out let's go the video already looks like a lot of fun Sometimes they check in my phone to see if you don't unblock me. Oh God, I never love anybody the way I take love. Something I've loved about Majid over the last um, few months, especially when we've heard new music from him, is that kind of I don't know that the. I don't know, the quite nasal kind of texture he has on his voice. There's a real kind of earthy feel to it. Um, it just feels kind of rough and ready, but it really does work. I think it adds an extra level of texture um, and a level of soulfulness to his performance. Again, the video on this one looks like it's going to be super high budget. We, we saw the rule they're in a really expensive place. They're in expensive cars. We know it's going to be a high budget video. Um, and yeah, just the general melody of this one feels like it's already a kind of immediate sing-along. It reminds me a little bit um, the sort of arrangement of Rush from Ira Star. Uh, just the general arrangement not the sort of themes or anything, but the sort of sound of the tune has a similar kind of twang to it. I'm loving the use of those backing vocals as well. They really do amplify Majid's vocal. Majid, as I said, Majid has quite a mid to low ended um, vocal a lot of the time. But then when he starts hitting those higher pitches and you start hearing those choral elements coming in on the background as well, well, there's something really almost angelic about it. I think he has such a unique kind of vocal texture. Really excited to hear what LoJ does on this tune. I'm pretty sure we have heard this previewed at some point as well. Um, but yeah, really excited to see what LoJ brings to the table. I'm liking the use of percussion on this as well. The instrumental itself isn't too full, um, but it really does seem to be packing a punch in all the right places. Oh, she got that off. Lojay's vocal, I don't know what it is about it, but there's like a, a mid-range kind of clarity to it that really just hits home, especially on tunes like this that are quite rhythmic heavy. Um, it feels like the main kind of elements on this, there's no real, I suppose, the bass line isn't leading the tune, the drum lines are leading the tune. That's the low end that's kind of pumping things forward. So I feel when his vocal kind of lands across the mid-range, Range. It works really nicely. He has a real kind of slick, um, kind of instantaneous effect when he does land on tunes. It works so, so well. Yeah, listening through this now, you can hear the bass line itself is super, super simple. It's just do 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 it's, really, it's something along those lines. Really simple, just kind of two-note fluctuations. Um, 
And again, it allows room for Loj and, and Majid on this just to sort of run riot across the mid-range of the tune. Loving the video. Definitely feels super high budget. It feels like it's been shot really nicely. A lot of the sort of transitions and switches work really well. Um, and the tune itself has got a real kind of uplifting feel to it. Again, it's called Cry. Um, it's not necessarily about the best things, um, clearly. Uh, but it does still have that sort of uplifting feeling that makes you want to listen to it when you're not in the best of ways. I think that really works. Any video with a dance routine in makes me happier. Uh, just in general, I think it's such a cool thing to have in music videos. But also, this sort of end breakdown we're getting here where we're just getting those almost like trance-style chord lines. Um, very euphoric across the outro. That sort of... That, that sort of pattern there just amplifies everything else up. And it's a really good way, I suppose, of kind of calming the tune down. It's almost like when you're on a plane, you're coming into landing, you start hearing sort of different sounds and you start feeling a different type of way. That, that um, kind of euphoric sound is what's dragging everything down in a good way. It's bringing everything to a close nicely. <laughs> There we go. Um, really, really cool video. Uh, Gide Ajala. Um, let's see this one, the official video for Cry, uh, featuring LoJ from Majid. Again, a huge collaboration. Uh, love seeing these two working together. I think they both bring something very unique to the table vocally. Um, and I think they just, in general, um, have something very energetic about their performance factor. Um, love the tune. Love the use of the choral backdrops. Love the fact that it isn't entirely driven by the low end. I like the fact that the actual arrangement has a real sort of rise and fall kind of feel to it. Um, and overall, just generally really enjoyed this one. I'm, I'm uh, very happy you guys were pushing me to check this one out, especially on Boxing Day. Guys, as always, if you are new to the channel, do make sure you're getting involved and letting us know in the comment section down below how you are feeling about this one. Of course, hitting the subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on as well. Um, as I have said before, we are looking to try and hit 90,000 subscribers before the end of the year. We've got five days left and we've got about 280 subscribers to go. So we are very much on target, but if you are new to the channel, please do throw a subscription on us uh, just so we can hit that 90k before the end of the year, and it means next year we're pretty much guaranteed to hit that 100k. So join the journey with us, and hopefully we can see you all next time. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and peace. Oh, Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Corp Camp TV. Stay locked. Welcome to Cubs Clubhouse, live on Brighton's premier platform for new music. Platform B.